get hosting. For this project, I am going to start off by getting myself a cPanel reseller account. As for choosing which provider to go with, it is better to choose one where I can scale up easily without having to switch hosting companies later on. I will set up Club Coder in this reseller account. Once I have finished setting everything up, I'm going to get a VPS account and move over everything from the reseller account to the VPS account. Going further, I will show you how to set up the VPS account from start to finish, including further customization and branding of the cPanel server itself. Let's get started. Okay, so this is Web Host Manager. We are going to start by creating a hosting package. So on the top left here, I'm going to search for package and I'm going to click add a package menu. Here, I'm going to name the first package which I already defined discover and type it in. And the this quota just 100 megabyte the bandwidth just one gigabyte and one for the rest of the resources one FTP account one email account one email list one databases and hmm, probably um, yep yeah, I'm gonna add five subdomains and zero for parked and add-on domains and that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and add this package so the next one you can just redo the whole form just uh, rename the package as the second one which is superpower and the disk code I'm gonna give one gigabyte and the monthly bandwidth I'm gonna give yeah one gigabyte should be fine and FTP accounts I'm gonna give five and five for the rest of the resources email account five email list five five databases five subdomains five park domains and five add-on domains the rest should be the same so i'm just gonna go ahead and add this package as well so after adding these hosting packages next we are going to create the main um, website account so well, let's go ahead and do that search for create and you can click on create new account again just uh, fill in the forms here so I'm gonna uh, fill in my uh, f domain clubcoder.com and the username is clubcode you have to choose eight character max and the password i'm just going to use the password generation function here and just choose a good one and save or copy that first and then you can use password next fill in your email address so you can get notified next choose the package which is the superpower this is your own uh, main website so I'm going to choose the superpower package so and leave everything um, as it is for the rest of the settings and I'm going to go ahead and click the create button here and it's going to create the whole resources for this main website for clubcoder.com so we're going to uh, take a few seconds here as you can see it is creating every resources for this uh, main website account for clubcoder.com as it is creating you can um, just I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna go down make sure account creation complete message is displayed at the bottom and I'm gonna take this off so next we are going to create the SSL certificate signing request for us to have our own SSL certificate for the main website. So this form, I'm gonna fill up with uh, my email address and 
all the SSL uh, certificate or key files will be emailed to this address and define the password again I'm going to use this for security and just check that and use password next the host to make search for this the full domain name www.clubcoder.com don't forget the triple w and city langley state um, british columbia and canada company name which is my company name ikasut media incorporated division i'm just going to type in um, the domain name which is clubcoder.com so next um, i'm going to type in my email address again which the certificate will be sent to hit the create button and here we go we have the signing request the certificate itself and the private key itself we will need this um, three data to actually buy the SSL certificate and to request the installation from your web host I'm gonna go to enom.com log into my account and buy my SSL certificate from enom you can have um, your own enom account just register with them directly or if you need me to help you out just send a question or email me and I can create you a free enom account so here SSL certificate I'm gonna go down get the cheapest one which is $9.95 I'm gonna buy now and we're gonna go through the whole buying process as well I'm gonna change this to one year only and it's gonna auto renew every year so no wasted money here check out now now we have to uh, submit the order and then we are going to actually go through the uh, the whole processing of the SSL certificate I'm gonna click there and next I'm going to go to security and SSL certificates which is on the top here so manage as you can see I already actually purchased for club coder but I'm gonna buy another one just to show you how the whole process works so I'm gonna click there and I am going to paste the CSR which we got from web host manager copy this copy the whole thing see certificate request so that's the one that we want to copy copy that and paste it here on the enum CSR field make sure you remove the last line and scroll down confirm your details and hit the submit certificate now once this is submitted the rapid SSL will actually send an approval email uh, request to this um, predetermined email addresses they are using our who is record for the domain name so I'm gonna choose this one I'm gonna submit certificate and it takes quite a while for them to actually send out the email verification may take a few minutes or even a couple of hours so you should be patient and wait it out it won't happen instantly so we are searching here in my email address and not um, not this one it's just the one that sent by web host manager so I get my old one which is the previous one we're going to use that as you can see uh, this is the old one I'm going to use this so I can show you right away so I click that and as you can see at the bottom here it's already approved so the button is grayed out but yours won't be grayed out because you're gonna have a button that's active you can click approve once you click that uh, you will have this email message which contains the certificate itself now what you need to do is copy the certificate and you have to email your support at your web hosting provider and request installation for the SSL certificate it's gonna take a couple of days usually and you will have to pay extra for the dedicated IP address that is required 
So once that's installed, I'm gonna check this off first. Um, that's done too. That's done. And so I have actually requested it before. And now I'm just gonna show you once they install it for you, they're gonna switch your domain to a dedicated IP address. And I'm gonna test it out, test it out now. I'm just gonna create a new file and make it index.html. I'm gonna hit new and create new file for index.html and create new file and I'm just gonna add some simple line of code say welcome to clubcoder.com I'm gonna type it here in the code editor welcome to clubcoder.com then I'm just simply gonna save this save changes and that's it now we're gonna try it out I'm gonna open a new tab a new um, browser tab and try it out HTTPS club coder and there we go it's live and running so now the whole domain name is running on SSL certificate this is good for processing orders so people know that your domain is secured the last part is we are going to set up the private DNS so our clients will have their own uh, will use our own DNS servers not our providers DNS servers so I'm gonna go DNS and hit edit DNS zone you can see club coder I'm gonna check out the IP address of my providers DNS servers which is that one and this one so two NS2 and NS1 so what we are going to do is we are going to actually register this two IPs as our own private name servers at enom here register a new name server I'm going to register dns1.clubcoder.com the same IP dot three there at, at the end and register name server and then I'm going to do another one go to domains and then advanced tools and register name server oops register name server now here I'm gonna put the second one which is the dot four in the end there ns2 and I'm going to rename as or name my own as dns2 dns2 so you can name it whatever you want you can name it jupiter dot whatever domain dot com saturn dot whatever domain dot com it's up to you so register name server here that's it so we have our own private name servers now once that's done I'm gonna go back here and change the DNS record for club coder itself for your own website itself change that from your uh, providers DOM uh, DNS servers to your own so I'm gonna do this as well and I'm gonna change DNS to dot club coder dot com so that's taken care of now we are going to type that in make sure the dot at the end that's gotta be there the dot at the end okay so that I'm gonna change to DNS1 DNS2 and that's it now I am going to simply save this and we are done now whenever somebody signed up with club coder um, they will or they can use dns1.clubcoder.com and dns2.clubcoder.com so we are going to actually change our own records at enom because I register this domain at enom I'm gonna go here and change to host uh, DNS server settings and this is the old one I'm gonna add DNS1 and DNS2 so all your customers can use the same DNS servers and it's gonna work so they can see that you are your own web hosting provider so this is the preparation and we are pretty much done here the next step is we are going to um, get you an enom account and then a PayPal account 
then we are going to set up WHMCS in the main website. So that's it for, for this um, course and I'll see you in the next one.